Okay, so these are the basic ingredients you need. Chicken, cooking butter, broccoli, pasta, two little cartons of uh, cream, and some Parmesan to grate. So the chicken, we're talking about about 300 grams each. I won't use all of it. Some of it will be, uh, I'll cook separately for Louise. So for the pasta, <clears throat> since I'm cooking for four people and I'm planning some leftovers that we can eat later, I'll cook all of this packet, which is uh, 500 grams. So you see I've cut up the chicken into kind of uh, strips and I've put a blob of uh, cooking butter in the frying pan. Low heat at the moment and just some seasoning. So that's a bit of pepper and, and a bit of salt. Um, and I'm gonna gently fry the chicken first in the pan. So you see I've cut the broccoli into quite large chunks and this will be cooked at the same time as the chicken is being fried. So as you can do that, that will be good. But don't cook the broccoli too much because it falls apart. And that needs to be added later to the mix. So, so you see I've got the um, chicken cooking and I've got the broccoli also in hot water. The broccoli is on a higher setting because it needs to be boiled. The chicken you can cook slowly um, because that's going to be added later. And the trick is to save the water from the broccoli for the pasta. So I'll let the broccoli cook, but not too much. Uh, and I will then cook the chicken and put that to one side. So it's important you season the chicken while it's being cooked with some pepper and with some salt. So uh, just, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit there. And also you want a bit of salt in the water of the broccoli. So not too much, but just enough. So while the rest of the, you know, the pasta and the chicken are cooking, I'm just gonna grate some Parmesan for later on. Okay, that's the Parmesan grated. You don't need a lot. But if you need some more, you can always grate more. And if you don't want to grate it, you can always buy the Parmesan already pre-grated in bags. So you can see the chicken is cooking. It's going a bit, uh, it's going a bit white, but that's fine. I've just put a bit more butter in there. Keep stirring it so it's evenly cooked. I won't, I won't cook it until it's kind of brown. You don't need to do that but I'll cook it until it's cooked through, which means it'll be white all over and you won't see any of the raw bits then. Um, meanwhile, the broccoli is cooking away nicely. I'll take that off the heat in a few minutes before it gets in, uh, too fragile. Because as, as I say, if you put that into the mix later and it's too well cooked, it will just break up. Okay, so I'm just, just making sure that everything's evenly cooked in the chicken area. And that's about it for the time being. So I think the, cook, the broccoli is cooked enough. Um, you just have to kind of test it to make sure it's not going to be falling apart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the water, the broccoli water, into this bowl. I'm going to use this uh, strainer uh, to strain out the water from the broccoli. Okay, that's done. The broccoli is out of the water. The water has been saved. That water I will put back in the pan so that we can then cook the pasta with it. So the chicken you should cook um, basically until you could cut cut it with, with the, the edge of the spoon. So that means it's tender enough. Just a few bits here that are quite, not quite cooked properly. Um, a few more minutes. As you see, I can cut so that means the chicken is nice and tender and uh, voila, I'll just cook it a few more minutes just to make sure everything's okay. okay. That's the water waiting for the pasta and uh, that's 
the broccoli, waiting to go in later. So this is this is the cream we're going to use. Uh, standard Dello stuff, quite cheap. We need two of these, and you can either add them to the chicken at this stage, or you can add them to the mix later. And I think what I'm going to do is I'll add them to the chicken once the chicken is kind of cooked, so we can uh, we can add them to the uh, pasta and broccoli at the end. Okay. So I'm just going to add the 500 grams of pasta, the uh, water from the broccoli. Now normally the pasta should take, as it says on the back or on the front, I can't see, it should take something like 11 minutes to cook through, which is, which is more than enough because we're going to make a mix of it later. Use, using a timer. For the pasta, the pasta's just gone in, as you can see. It says 11 minutes, but you just keep an eye on it and just uh, taste it occasionally to see if it's not cooked enough or, or whatever. As you see, the chicken's still frying nicely. So you can see the chicken's just starting to brown. So what we're gonna do is we just add one of the two creams to the pan and let that cook slowly. So use the whole, um, I think it's uh, 200 mils. And then we have another 200 mil cream for later on in the process. So be careful not to overcook or put the chicken and the cream mixed on too high a heat because that will make the cream kind of solidify. You want to stop that. Um, well, the pasta is still cooking and the broccoli is waiting. And of course, it always helps to have a little alcoholic refreshment while you're cooking because it gets very hot. Pasta is still cooking. Just have to wait a few minutes and then we can start putting everything together. Pasta is cooking nicely chicken waiting to go in and I've just prepared some grated some parmesan to put in the mix. Um, again here's the broccoli will go in when the pasta is finished. In fact you can use any pasta but I prefer penne because it's uh, easier to cook it doesn't disintegrate in the in the bowl and uh, it's uh, once the dish is finished it's not going to break up at all. It's going to stay as is with the rest of the ingredients. So easy to cook. Just follow the instructions. Well, the pasta has been cooking for 11 and a half minutes, uh, almost 12. I'll give it an, another minute or two just so it's cooked all the way through, just to make sure. I'm just uh, testing if the pasta's cooked through. It's almost out, but it's a bit al dente. You just want it to be cooked a tiny bit more, not too much, maybe one minute or so, and then it'll be ready to go. So I've just drained the hot water from the pasta. Um, in fact, what we need to do is put it back in the saucepan, okay, like this. Boom, boom. And then we add the chicken and cream straight like this. That's brilliant. So we will add some cream at a later stage. That's just kind of warm, slightly cooking on the already hot hob. And then I'm just gonna stir it a bit. Just to stir in the cream and stir in the pasta a bit. Um, and then the last thing we're gonna do is put the broccoli in, because the broccoli is most likely the, the ingredient that's gonna break up, so we put that in last. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the second pot, second pot of cream. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And that's gonna, the pasta's gonna soak that up a bit, so don't worry about that. And then, of course, 
on top of that can go the broccoli, the last ingredient. So, uh, well done. And then we give it a good stir, making sure just, it, it's, the, the hob is not on, it's just retaining the heat from the previous cooking. And the last thing I'm gonna do is put in the, the Parmesan. So first I'll stir this then, and then the Parmesan goes in later. Well, that's the broccoli all, st all stirred in. So I'm just gonna add some Parmesan now, voila, on a very, very low heat, just to keep it kind of bubbling under. And once that Parmesan has been stirred in, and it should be ready. So I'll give it a few minutes, I'll stir it around and then uh, serve it out. So there you go, that's the chicken alfredo all cooked in the pot. Chloe's already had one bowl, I've had a small bowl. And it's just sitting there waiting for the others to come down to eat. And uh, tastes good. If it needs any more seasoning, you can always add salt um, and pepper. And also you can also add some more Parmesan because that always helps. And that's it really, there you go.